That's so sad. She's like, when you don't have a job anymore, you have eight hours to dedicate to your garage. I'm going to use this moisturizer so that I can have some sunblock. I think I'm just gonna walk and I'm gonna watch YouTube videos and then when I get bored, I'll go running. Starting my afternoon walk. So this is gonna be like the third time that I've tried to do this crocs free pair so hopefully this time i'll get it because right now it is let's see 8 58 and i'm already on so if i don't get it who's getting it this is also my breakfast some green juice this i was gonna eat that but i didn't like it earlier so these two will have to do Okay, I still haven't gotten it and probably feel like I won't get it, but hopefully we'll hope for the best. I was gonna watch the news, but instead I'm watching Remy because why not? Update. Hold on. Why is this not letting me in? Okay. I'm almost there. Almost there. If they cut me off, I'm gonna be so pissed. So I'm just literally waiting here until I get the okay to put in my request. So I'm going to do like a mini workout. I swear this shit is such a lie. Look at it. Come back tomorrow. What the heck? I also got a package. Okay. I'm just going to open it here. <clears throat> okay, this isn't the most ideal place, but whatever. So I got them in royal blue. So I saw a bunch of people get these and I really wanted to get the jogger ones and try them. I got like a regular small in my gray bottoms and they're like way too big. So this time I ordered an extra small and hopefully I didn't gain so much weight where I can't fit. This one's cute. For my other one, I think I just have the pocket here. I like it better when they have the two pockets. My only problem is when I tuck it in. But this is cute. I probably won't be using it soon because I keep using the OR scrubs because I don't like bringing so much germs home. I feel like it's just Everyone more people asks are... the same question. They keep saying that people are getting discharged or that's because when you're dead, you get discharged. I don't know how to feel about this whole thing. Then I'm gonna keep watching. What happens? How does it end? Uh, and people want answers. I understand people want answers. I want answers. This is Governor Andrew But the, the answer is nobody knows I for think this sure. Is New York. Anyone who goes yeah, on cable TV and says, or network TV and says, this is what is going to happen, uh, that's not, it's not true. Uh, no okay, so I got dressed to go to Starbucks. Come on, let's go. Smells like chicken. I don't want a macchiato. Okay. Well, either way, mine is free. Let me grab my ID. Lola, you want anything from Starbucks? I don't like Starbucks. Why? Anybody buy Starbucks? It's coffee, coffee, coffee. But the alcohol virus is not free. So nothing. <laughs> Why? Just go. Oh, we're going to the drive-through. Why is that so such a struggle? Lysol in my car my before. Jeans. Lysol? It's not bleach. Okay, it's gonna smell. We gotta open the windows. <laughs> I'm gonna like. 
direction. Where are we going? We're going to Where's New Park my... Beach, baby. No, we're not. We're going to Starbucks. <laughs> Okay. So if you didn't, oh my god, I can taste it. I can taste the lights all. So if you didn't know, if you bring your ID to Starbucks, you can get a free tall coffee. I think I'm gonna get a tall vanilla coffee with cream and no ice. Or should I get light ice? I'll just get light ice, so I don't have to put in my own ice. Oh, I don't want them to touch my phone. They don't touch it. Well, they don't even like look at my <clears throat> ID that well. I feel so gross in my car because the only time I'm in my car is when I go to work. So it's so dirty. All my work stuff is stuck in here. Okay, where are we gonna go? The one on Lincoln or Orange? Which one's closer? I think Orange Star was closer. Is that it? Orange Star? Look at that dog. What are you gonna get? An ice. Well, you have to scan yours because mine is. Matcha. Should I get a venti? I think we're just gonna go Lincoln. I think it's probably easier to get through. Tall vanilla iced coffee with cream and light ice. A matcha Grande. green tea latte. Light ice with almond milk. Yeah, with uh, ice, please. Okay. With light ice. What else? With Sorry. light ice? Yes. Anything else? That's all. Does everything look correct on the screen? Um, can I add classic to the iced coffee? You want vanilla and classic? Yes. Okay. So how about some like navy? In Navy stuff, people get like so thirsty at the first female they see. Cause my ears for a bunch of guys all the time in a boat. Dude, this is good. My sore throat is gone. It's come from there. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. What's up? It feels so light. Why is it backwards? I know. It feels like very the first creamy. time they've like actually looked at my ID to check what I am. Really? They're probably losing money on that. The labor cost? It's not that much. It's literally like two something. Ooh, um, I can tell this is light ice. How much is yours? I asked for it. I have no idea. I didn't check. Garbage is gone. <coughs> it was good though. Woo! Dude, Dude, I felt like it was gone before we even like bomb. left the plaza. <laughs> I know. Dude. So a bird pooped in my eye earlier. So I don't know if the poop is still in there or not. It hurts though. I was like running and then all of a sudden I saw this bird fly by and all of a sudden my left, my right eye was blinded. <laughs> so we're back from our Starbucks trip and there's like way too much milk in this but it's okay. Um, as you can tell, I dressed up just to go to Starbucks and to film this video, so it kind of feels nice to actually look presentable for once. So, yeah. Um, I did want to give, like, an update as to what it's like to be, like, a baby nurse during this time. Because, as... So, as I mentioned, I started working in the ER in October. But I wasn't off orientation until January, so I'm still fairly new, so it's been kind of weird to transition into all these things. It's been quite a ride. Um, I remember at the beginning of my orientation, we didn't really orient through triage because we weren't necessarily ever going to be placed there within like the first year of us being there, but with the whole pandemic and everything going on, our whole tent is a triage and I've been placed in the tent. It's not that difficult, but it's very chaotic and like disorganized. Um, and that's typically what our normal triage looks like anyway. Um, it's nice because they're less, they're lower acuity than in the back, but it is a little bit different because there's no real flow. 
so that's been a little bit weird for me because um let me kind of break down if you don't know how the er is and i'm glad that you don't know what it looks like because i'd rather you not have visited the er obviously but how it is is the first person you see is the pivot nurse the pivot nurse is normally someone who's very experienced because that's how that's who determines how acute you are um and that person is like okay you should be sent straight back or you can go to fast track um, right now we don't have our normal triage area what's happening now is our pivot nurse is in the tent and the tent is where most of the lower acute um lower acuity coronavirus patients are um and yeah so i was there yesterday or the day before i can't remember what day it is um, but I did kind of film it, so if you want to see what it looks like in a tent that is set up for coronavirus patients, this is what it's going to look like. I'll like put it right here because it's a Snapchat and it's not very good. I like filmed it inside my biohazard bag, so it's a little bit blurry, but I did show that. If you don't follow me on Snapchat, I never plug my social media anymore, but I'll put that here or here so that you can follow it. It's been interesting to see. Um, our tent initially started as a smaller tent, which maybe had like, you can only really see like up to maybe like five patients at one time, and there were no like designated areas. But now it's really set up because we're expecting to see a surge of patients within the next two weeks. Um, so now we're set up for 14 patients, and it's kind of set up where you have a line of like spaces and like dividers in between each spot and you take the vital signs there's a spot for EKGs if um, that's ordered there's a radiology portion we have meds like Zofran, ibuprofen, very basic oral meds to give and then other than that um, we don't give any injections, no IVs, no blood draws nothing like that. The main thing that we are getting for these patients is the obviously the swab if and that's only if their chest x-ray looks concerning so before we even order the coronavirus swab we are doing chest x-rays um i do want to throw up a photo of what it looks like so i'm gonna like throw it up here um it typically starts out what i've been seeing at least this is gonna be like someone I'm going to show like a picture of like knowing you like a stock photo from Google because obviously, you know, HIPAA and everything. So this is not like a real person. I just want to disclaim that. Um, so it starts out like double pneumonia and a lot of these patients are walking in and they aren't looking so terrible. So typically if you have double pneumonia, you're walking in and you look awful, like you look sick. But a lot of these patients who have COVID are people who walk in with like looking like maybe they just have like the flu um but then their chest x-ray says otherwise the thing is a lot of these patients who are coming in with the virus are very young that that's what i've noticed which is scary because of the fact that these people like i triage them and i know that they don't have any medical history they don't take any meds they have no other issues so I'm getting like out of breath <laughs> saying all this. It's been crazy to see um, a lot of the older pe the older population who is affected by the virus, they are being intubated. That wasn't obvious already. That's why um, all of our ventilators are getting set up. And it's crazy because we already have so many people in the ICU who are somebody cook something who are using those ventilators so to see them needing more it's like really really scary so. yeah I don't know I don't even know what to say ah oh, gosh I don't know where my phone is oh it's right here but yeah, so many new things that are 
showing up every single day and it's like nobody really knows i know they were saying that like don't give ibuprofen i think i think ibuprofen with people with who might have coronavirus but like what's the like there's no real evidence to back it up so that's why i'm just like how would i know so i don't really know what to say about it because nobody really knows what's going on but i am it's just crazy to see every single day that it changes and the fact that we're seeing like this surge of like i think one of the scariest things for me was i saw like the there was one patient that was affected and they had like a family of like seven which is like basically my family because there's like seven of us living in here and it's crazy to see because it obviously spreads so 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 fast and i don't even know so like once one person gets it it's like everyone who gets it and i know a lot of my coworkers were really concerned about people that they were living with and it being transmitted to them and that's why i think most of us are like trying to social distance ourselves from people who might be the most susceptible to it so, but nowadays it's like literally everyone's susceptible to it because there are 17 year olds and 30 year olds who are being affected by it and it's no longer just people who are older maybe there's more casualties of people who are older but it's not necessarily only older people that are being affected by it nowadays and it's scary to see because a lot of the um I feel like a lot of the virus is mutating and I feel like it's getting stronger because now it's showing a lot of damage to people's lungs who are young with no comorbidities and it used to be like people would just be carriers and be asymptomatic but now these people are actually like symptomatic. So it makes me a little bit concerned because I feel like you can go from being asymptomatic to symptomatic very quickly if it's not addressed i guess a lot of um places like walmart are supposed to be having drive throughs soon i actually volunteered to like show i think they're having pharmacists do it to do the test and the tests aren't very comfortable like it literally the nasal pharyngeal swab goes all the way like to your like brain it goes like all the way up here so people will like gag and cough and like they get so pissed off but i'm like sorry <laughs> And then the other one goes like all the way down your throat and it makes you want to like throw up. But typically we're doing the nasopharyngeal. I feel like that's the one that I've been doing the most. And there's only one time I was doing the oropharyngeal. So yeah. Besides that. Also, I got this Apple Watch. <sighs> I don't know. It's um, been really helpful for me to um, just like work out because I haven't really been working out as much as I normally do because of the fact that obviously the gyms aren't open and everything. So it's been nice to have. Here's a photo of my brown paper bag that we are reusing our face shields. I also left an N95 in there. Oh my gosh, it's not showing. This is our brown paper bag. It's so sad. I left my N95 in there that I used before because I'm like, we're starting to run low and I don't want to be one of the only nurses that don't have an N95, so I left one of my N95s in there. So, I'm trying to like look through my photos to remember everything that I was going to say. Um, but yeah, also look, this is my Krispy Kreme that I got the other day. Which is really nice. I literally, I got flux the other day, so I actually went to Krispy Kreme around 6.20. And by the end of it, it was like, maybe like an hour and 30 minute wait to get the Krispy Kreme donut, which is insane. But obviously people are going to wait for it, because we don't have anything better to do, unless you have work. So, yeah, that was pretty crazy. And then the Starbucks thing, they're giving out. And then earlier, I was trying to get Crocs for the fifth time, literally, and I still haven't gotten it, even though I, like, got in line right when it dropped at, like, 9 a.m., so that was kind of lame. 
but yeah it's kind of nice that these companies are appreciative and everything hopefully um hopefully everything turns out okay because right now things are about to get really crazy i'm not even gonna lie to you the census has been really low which is good because people are understanding to stay home instead of going to the hospital because you're more susceptible to getting the virus by being in one of our hospital beds because obviously we're not even sure how long it lives on surfaces people are saying like it's five days it'll live on a surface um it could be airborne it can be contact it literally can be anything and we have no idea so we're all just kind of it's a guessing game right now which is why it's just best to stay home you know a lot of people are like still trying to go out and like okay I want to like clarify my social distancing like TikTok um okay so I don't think that people should be going to beaches because a lot of people have been going and I get that you're by yourself and you're kind of spread apart but you're like stepping in the sand and your hands are in the sand and it's one of like the dirtiest places even when you're normally at the beach without the virus so that's why i'm like a little bit concerned why everyone's going to the beach um as far as parks i'm kind of thinking about it now i wish i took a bit took a video of it because they actually fenced not fenced up but like put caution tape all around the park um areas like the little jungle gyms and whatever which is good i think that for the most part it should be okay for you to like walk through the park but as long as you don't gather at those like jungle gyms so yeah and then another thing a lot of people are still meeting up with their friends my concern with that is here's a problem that i'm seeing a lot of the healthcare providers are meeting up still after work which is still technically irresponsible. I know that we like see each other at work and stuff, but we should still be social distancing ourselves as much as we can. I know it's kind of hard to do, especially when we all work together, but it's, I don't think it's smart for us to actually see each other outside work because I don't know. I just like don't think that it's a good idea. I don't know. That's my own opinion, maybe. But I think it's kind of scary because I know some people were trying to meet up in groups and like, what if someone has it and they spread it? I don't know. You never know. So as much as possible, I was just trying to, um, I don't know. And then these poor people who are just starting their new grad orientation. Oh my gosh, it's insane. I don't even... Like, it's hard for me already, like, as a baby nurse, like, being on my own and everything. But I can't even imagine for people who literally are just going on orientation right now. I don't even know how you can, like, precept right now. It's it's such a hard time because nobody really knows what to do or what's going on. Every day, our guidelines are changing every day. Um, treatments are changing. I remember in the morning, we literally had a really tiny four person, five person tent. And now we have like a 14 bed tent within a couple hours. So things are changing really fast. And I guess sometimes it's good, but still nonetheless scary. But yeah, I don't know if you have any other questions about it or whatever. I just wanted to sit down and talk and Watching the news makes me more and more scared. Um, I listened to this podcast that was talking about it. Let me see what's the name of it. And it made me more paranoid, so I like stopped listening to it halfway through. Let me see what was it. It was um, sp special episode, what I learned when my husband got coronavirus on the daily. It was on March 29th and it's, it's here to see what's happening in New York because <sighs> New York is very similar to LA and at any point we could be hit just as hard as they are. So we're all just trying to brace ourselves before this all happens. So stay safe, wash your hands, 
don't go to the grocery store if you don't have to don't go to the hospital if you don't have to honestly your best bet is just staying indoors my concern was like when i'm running i used to think it was really stupid to wear a face mask i still do think it's kind of stupid because you're probably gonna pass out but now i'm like getting a little bit more paranoid about like when i'm running around because there's more and more people that are going outside um so now i'm like should i be wearing a face mask but yeah as much as possible just at least stay six feet away from people because that's the cdc guideline um i'm trying not to really watch the news as much now because it's getting more and more scary um but if you are a nursing student i don't know if it's just for nurses or nursing students but there is a oh shoot where is it um There's a class online. Let me see if I can pull it up. It's called, um, I don't know what it's called. If you're really bored and you have nothing to do, this is like something that you can do. It's the American Association of Critical Care Nurses. It has like this free class. If you look on Future NP on Instagram, she has more information about it. Um, but it's on the COVID pulmonary ARD and ventilator resources. It says, to date, the most serious reported symptoms of from COVID-19 are pulmonary complications. Now they're seeing, like, GI symptoms, like vomiting and diarrhea before they start seeing all that other stuff. But I don't know. Yeah, that's something if you want to check it out and you're really, really bored. But other than that, that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about. I probably will end up adding on to it eventually. <sighs> How is everyone else doing, I wonder? Because I know Unclucked States got pushed back. People are learning online now. And some people, it's crazy to see that they're, like, out of work. And I think it made me, like, so sad seeing on Saturday and Sunday. There used to be, like, this swap meet area. And I know a lot of people get their income from there. And like not seeing it for the first time in years because they have it every single weekend. I think it was crazy. It's a little bit ominous to walk around and see everything so empty. So anyway, everyone stay safe. And I guess until the next vlog, I'll see you guys later. Mm -hmm.